What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We are opening up another one of these boxes of dual power. Uh, they're just really fun to open. I feel like we've been getting some pretty good pulls yet. However, we still have, we pulled a good amount of hand traps. However, we still have yet to find that chase card, the infinite impermanence. So let's see if we can't get our first one today. All right guys, more dual power. We have our promos as always. And two, four, six packs. As far as what the game mat looks like, you are already looking at it, so we're not going to show that off. <clears throat> we're just going to jump right into it. Six packs of dual power. Can we find the infinite permanence? Um, we've been good about hand traps lately, so as always, we're very happy to pull the ghost belt and haunted mansion. Is there anything else that's really big that we haven't pulled? I feel like those are the main ones. All right, so for our first pack, we have a double or nothing, a Cybers Enchanter, a uh, actually I think this one's pretty good as well, Aromas there Seraphy Jasmine, and then a Harpy Dancer. Ooh, Galaxy Soldier. All right, this is. First time I pulled him. I'm trying to get to I'm trying to figure out the so in this new setup, like the lighting is slightly different. Uh, so I'm still trying to figure out how to there are there is some lights on the ceiling right above us, however, uh, I find that there's a lot of glare because the, the light is just very intensive. So I just have a lamp to my right and essentially it's just shining up at the white ceiling and hopefully getting as much light to bounce off of it and come back down. So as a result, the light is still a little touchy. All right, so we do have a Predator Plant Dragostphilia. Ooh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. This is a very cool card. Um, has a pretty insane effect too. Platinum Gadget. Backup Survive sur Supervisor, and then XYZ Change Tactics. So I feel like we're getting good cards, but. Still looking for some of those big hits. I feel like these are just like, all right, those those are okay. You know, like not a complete blank of a pack, but not what we're looking for. Not the ones that will make the the box a worth it purchase. All right, High Priestess of Prophecy. Actually, I actually think this might be the first one I pulled of this. Not familiar with this card. A Silver Gadget. Necroz of Brianak. Not bad. XYG change tactics, and then a gold gadget. That one I do feel was a bit of a dud. Halfway through, still looking for some kind of hit. All right, we have a Necroz mirror, Utopic Onomatopoeia, Draw of Fate, Chaos Form, pretty cool. And then Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. <laughs> that was a lot of words. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't think I pulled a Magician of Chaos. I think that's in the set as well. So, all right, let's get a fancy trap card. So far, this is one of our weaker boxes. A Lefty Driver. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Security Dragon. The Smile Sorcerer, and then oh, Galaxy Eyes Photon, Full Armor Photon Dragon. All right, it's coming down to the last one. Let's see if we can't see if we can't clutch in this next last pack. Otherwise, this would be a weaker opening as far as dual power goes. All right, for our last attempt, we have Necroz of the Unicorn. Miracle Fusion, Platinum Gadget, Zyborg, the Mega Monarch, then, oh gosh, Fright for Packwork, Patchwork, oof, oof, very weak opening guys, um, hopefully we get better pulls in the next one, uh, but as always, thanks for watching, if you do want to support that channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below, and uh, yeah, I'm Hoping for better luck next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Wana Turtle, and uh, 
before I sign off, I'll just leave you with the happy words of a little uh, aquatic animal. Uh, but on that, guys, it's a my turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.